Hey, it's Lee, and it's time for some more blinged out brownies. Today we are going to be making chocolate peanut butter brownies. So start with your brownie mix. This one is Betty Crocker Ultimate Brownie Mix with chocolate chunks and chocolate chips. So we're starting with that one. Then add all the ingredients it calls for on the back of the box, plus a dollop, maybe a quarter of a cup, maybe not quite, maybe just a couple of tablespoons of peanut butter, and stir. Once it's mixed, pour it into your pan. Uh, that really depends. Read the back of the box, decide what size pan you have and what size pan you want to use. Pour your brownie mix in. Now I'm just going to set this aside and make the peanut butter swirl. To make the peanut butter swirl, we're going to need one quarter of a cup of peanut butter and one and a half tablespoons of butter. And I have heated those up in the microwave just a little so they'll stir and mix in easily. Then we're going to add one egg. You don't want this to be too hot. That's just barely warm, it'll be all right. One egg. Mix it really well. And a half a cup of powdered sugar. This is where I'll make my mess. Stir carefully <laughs> to combine. And this is what it looks like when it's combined. So now I'm going to add the swirl to the brownie batter. You can do this a few ways. You can get a piping bag and do it very neatly. But I'm going to try. <laughs> I'm going to try to just put it in carefully. Or on, I guess I should say. So once you have it all in, you're just going to take a butter knife or a spatula, whatever you have, and swirl back and forth like this. Oops. <laughs> then I'm going to pop these in the oven at 350 degrees. And according to my brownie mix box, it says for 43 to 45 minutes. So I always start checking at about 35 minutes or about 5 to 10 minutes before it says, just to be on the safe side because I don't have a 9 by 9 pan. So I'm going to keep a closer eye on these because they'll be a little thinner. So I'll be back when they're done. This is what they look like fresh out of the oven. Let me tell you, my house smells amazing right now. All chocolatey and peanut buttery. It smells heavenly. So I'm gonna let these cool completely. Oh, it took about 45 minutes for these to bake in my oven. 
Um, so I'm going to let these cool completely and then I'll cut into them and let you see what they look like. Here we have the finished product. They look amazing, they smell amazing, and most importantly, they taste amazing. So if you like these blinged out brownies, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. You can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter at Lee's Home 5 Thanks for watching. Bye.